What's up, everyone? I've been using this ChatGPT 4.0 tool to generate advertisements, generate social media images. So I want to do a couple more today. Just give you a few examples of some ways that you can create different types of images and how you can create actual brand images as well. So what I decided to do is I took a look at Ben and Jerry's Instagram. I was just looking at different ideas of things we can create. And they have kind of this unique Ben and Jerry's style, I guess you would say, where they have the ice cream sitting on a table, blue background, fits the Ben and Jerry's color scheme, and then they usually have ice cream with a theme on the side based on whatever the ice cream is. So I figured, why not create my own? I didn't see one for this flavor here, so chocolate covered strawberry, so I'm like, why not create my own? And we'll see how we can do with the chat GPT tool. I'll also create a couple other images at the same time. So let's first start with this. What I would generally do in this case is I know I wanna create an image that looks like this style, so we're gonna first take a screenshot of this image. So we're just gonna take a screenshot of their Instagram image here. Now I'm not posting this anywhere, so I don't. I really don't know copyright how these things would work for a video this is obviously educational so not a big deal doing it this way but if you're creating these images i would not recommend posting them because i'm sure you'll get a, a cease and desist from ben and jerry's but we first take a screenshot of the style of the image that we want next what we want to do is we want to take a screenshot of the actual pint of ice cream here so the chocolate covered strawberry so we're going to take the one directly from their website so we will take this and okay so now we have an image of the chocolate covered strawberry and an image of the design style that we want to use so now what we need to do is go over to chat gpt and tell them what we want to do so i'm going to upload the two images okay and one of the first things that i do is i name the images just because it's easier for me to refer to those images when I am doing a prompt with ChatGPT to say, okay, this is the image that I'm talking about. Now, I think ChatGPT can obviously read these images because they're good enough at, at reading the actual content of the image itself. But to me, if I have a naming chocolate covered strawberry ice cream for this one, and then I have ice cream design template for this one here, then it kind of helps me with my prompt. So I'm gonna put together my prompt right now and we're gonna try to recreate an image in this style, but updated for chocolate covered strawberry. Okay, and here is the prompt that I came up with. I want you to create an image similar to the ice cream design, a template attached. I wanna update it with the chocolate covered strawberry ice cream image with the same template, with a blue background, and on top of a wood table. Replace the cookie for monster ice cream, so that's the one here, with the chocolate covered strawberry ice cream image attached. Instead of cookies surrounding the ice cream, I want it to be strawberries on the left-hand side of the ice cream container, chocolate covered strawberries on the right-hand side of the ice cream container, and several small, use this word, let's see what chat GPT comes up with, several small artisan chocolate chips in front of the ice cream pint on the wood table. So we're gonna click on enter, and we're gonna see the image that chat GPT can come up with. I want to take a quick break from the video to promote my ads and marketing community. So if you want to join a community of other marketers, other advertisers, and find ways to actually grow your business with advertising and marketing, go to surfsidepcc.com slash community or go to school, S-K-O-O-L.com slash surfsidepcc. You could join my ads community, talk with other like-minded individuals, answer questions, ask questions, and hopefully we can build the best marketing community on the internet. So let's get back to the video. I do think having image context helps a lot with the output of the image, especially if there's something specific that you're going for. Okay, and we have our image created. So on one prompt, we have an image that's probably almost good enough for social media. So when we go over to the Ben and Jerry's page, you could see some of the image that they posted here. Probably could add a little bit more detail to the image. So add a few more strawberries on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. Chocolate chips didn't come out as well as I thought they would. So maybe if I do like chocolate shavings or something along those lines. There's additional things you could put in your prompt where you could do, you know, make it, playful, make it elegant, make it fancy. You know, there's different types of words that you can incorporate as well. So things that to kind of make the design look a little bit better. But overall, I mean, if Ben and Jerry's posted this, it, it would fit in with a lot of their brand things that they've created. And I wanted to wait to show this to you, but this is one of the ones they created with the chocolate covered strawberry ice cream. So you have strawberries in the left-hand side in a bowl, looks a little better with the spoon on the right. So could put a spoon in the design. They had another one that I found. So this one here, this one looks a little bit better, actually a lot better. So this would kind of be something where if I was prompting, I would try to create something like this, like have a strawberry cut in half, you know, maybe surround it with chocolate covered strawberries, you know, all around the container. And they definitely have their chocolate looks better here. But this is probably an image they actually, you know, did a the design for and took an image of i assume they're not using you know four weeks ago i assume this is not chat gpt generated but what do i know 
Okay, so that's the first one that I came up with. So just kind of recreating a brand image. Obviously, if you prompt a few more times, you can really improve this. One thing to keep in mind is you always want to check some of the text on the image. This didn't come out perfectly. So that's something where, you know, if you're a designer, you might want to take the actual image itself and just replace this image in the forefront so it looks a little bit better. But this was the first one I came up with. The next one we're going to do is just basically recreating an image into a drawing, into art, you know, something along those lines. So I got it from this idea. This is actually a video, but I like this image here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an image. This is actually a Ben and Jerry's I used to visit as a child. So in Beach Haven, Long Beach Island, I used to go visit, visit there with my family. But what I want to do is just take this image and... I want to take a screenshot and I just want to turn it into watercolor art. So you could do any art style you want to, but let's just turn it into watercolor art. And what we're going to also do in the process, just because I saw this on their Instagram page, is Free Cone Day, I believe they said, is April 8th. So we're just going to try to add that text to the image too. So let's first take a screenshot of this image here. We don't need a huge image. We could just take... Try to cut off the street sign over here and cut off the restaurant. Okay, this is perfect. So we'll take the screenshot. So next what we're going to do is we don't really need to worry about naming this too much. It's going to be the only image I attach. But you can do, you know, Ben and Jerry storefront and rename that and use that in your prompt. So let's upload the image. Let's reprompt and let's get another image created. Okay, here's what we have for our next one. Use the screenshot attached of the Ben & Jerry storefront, recreated as watercolor art. I want it to look similar, but as a watercolor painting. Make sure it is a Ben & Jerry storefront watercolor painting that uses the same colors, but make the sky blue similar to the blue image attached. So you can see we have our image here that we want to recreate, and we have our blue image, which is literally just a small screenshot of right here, this blue that we created in the previous image. So similar to the image attached, in the sky portion of the watercolor painting. So this will be the challenge. So I attach the Ben & Jerry's font using the signature Ben & Jerry's font right with the text Free Cone Day April 8th. So we're going to see if we can get a watercolor painting highlighting Free Cone Day and we'll see how this image comes up with. A little bit more a challenge for ChatGPT, but I feel like they'll probably come up with something pretty good. Okay, and here's what we got. So we didn't get the font correct, but this actually looks really good. I mean, this is an impressive picture with one quick prompt. So if we go back over here, we look at the original image. So we have Ben and Jerry's Peace, Love, and Ice Cream. They've sort of finished, they've, they've added to the image. So the stairs actually don't complete at the bottom of the image. So they've added this to make it look better. Looks exactly how I would want this to look. They didn't get the font correct. There's probably ways to do the font where you can get a little bit closer to it. This also could be a copyright thing where they're just like, we are not printing Ben and Jerry's font. The sky looks a little bit different, but it actually looks a little bit better. I mean, I think if you're trying to stay on brand a little bit, you would want the sky to kind of be similar to this. Something we can reprompt re and fix. But overall, I mean, this looks really good and, and ready to go for social media ultimately. So we're going to do one final thing here. And really what I want to do is show you how quick and easy it is to create images using existing images, which we've kind of showed already here, but how you can just take like an idea and turn it into a concept and turn it into an image very, very quickly. So I found last but not least that they have this Dublin mudslide. So St. Patrick's Day just passed. So why not create a quick this and we're going to recreate it using this image here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a screenshot of our Dublin mudslide ice cream. We are going to take a screenshot of this one here. So in honor of St. Patrick's Day, let's come over to ChatGPT and let's do one more prompt. Okay, last but not least, we upload our two images here. So we have first image, we have second image. And what we're going to do is I want to recreate something similar to the St. Patty's Day image attached with the leprechaun rainbow and pot of gold. I want the leprechaun to be holding the Dublin mudslide ice cream pie in his left hand and a spoon with some ice cream on it in his right hand. The rainbow should go into a pot of gold, but instead of gold, please replace it with the Dublin mudslide ice cream pie. So pretty simple. We're going to see how this one come up, comes up with, and we may have our St. Patty's Day post all ready to go for Ben and Jerry's. But just a quick recap. So we did a watercolor image here. So you can quickly create, take any image and turn it into art. So if you're Ben and Jerry's, find some of your different storefronts, turn them into art, and you can honestly highlight some of your local storefronts doing it this way. 
Coming up here, we also have our brand image. So just trying to recreate an image similar to the Ben & Jerry's brand. Things like this are easier than ever to create. So you could easily say, take this chocolate caramel brownie. We want you to put it in a bowl with a scoop on top, a spoon next to it, and then have somebody in the background, basically the spoon in their hand who are ready to eat this ice cream on the couch. So it's very easy to create these images using ChatGPT. It's kind of impressive how quick they can create an image i would say the biggest issue i've seen that you should look out for is when you do upload images you could see down here it says like strawberry lex cream with strawberry lamb schiltz flakes obviously it doesn't really make any sense sometimes they change fonts slightly sometimes they change the way things look a little bit this looks pretty similar overall but that's kind of one of the biggest things that i've seen obviously if you have an image like this, you'd probably want to add more to it and maybe add a few more details. But overall, you can see how quickly it can create a brand image, exactly how it looks for Ben and Jerry's here. So it's pretty much the same exact image. It's just updated for uh, updated a little bit on chat GPT. So pretty similar overall, but pretty much any of these posts that they have here that aren't video can be recreated. Kind of the importance of, of why video is, is always going to be key. Although video AI is, is getting just as quickly all right so this one we, we got it a little bit not quite as good we have a floating hand holding this ben and jerry's still not terrible i mean this is definitely would require a reprompt you could tell there was just a little confusion in terms of what i was asking for but overall we could probably just reprompt this and get it to be fixed i think the pot of gold what we should have done is i should have done a pot of gold and on the very top is the ben and jerry's ice cream maybe not trying to print it twice because they end up printing it three times and you know, the issue that we have is printing the actual product itself. And you can see here in every instance, it did not come out well. So maybe just try to print the image one time, maybe give it a clearer image. If I could find an additional doubled mudslide image, just do it once, maybe at the end of the pot of gold, do him holding two spoons of ice cream would probably be a better idea. So you could see still not perfect based on this image, but overall, I mean, how impressive this tool is. I haven't really seen anything like this. So if you're looking to create quick brand images, quick social media images. Uh, yesterday I went over how I was able to quickly put together a brand design and get a get a complete product mock-up created. And going over what I did yesterday really quick to kind of wrap up the video is I started from nothing and created a new brand, new logo, just kind of prompting. This was the logo I ended up using. You could do a few different variations. This was, this was the final logo, which I thought looked pretty good for a sunscreen bottle. We got it printed on a sunscreen bottle here. Got another sunscreen bottle and we have a third one now on a beach scene. And by the end of it, this was kind of what I ended up coming up with. You could see a sunscreen bottle that was able to be created this way. And we also had, let's see. Yeah, so we have this one here. So able to create some pretty cool brand images. I'd say the biggest issue I see is just recreating some of the images and logos. Obviously, that's something that will probably be fixed in an upcoming update but that's just kind of how how easy it is to recreate some of these images i went over an image and recreated a pretty similar mountain dew image to one that was art that had already existed with one simple prompt so very easy to create these images uh advertisements social media posts so if you are a visual brand you have a physical product it's easier than, than ever to create these these posts so if you have any questions about any of this i would just say Get into ChatGPT. This is just the $20 ChatGPT Plus plan, so I'm not on any special plan. ChatGPT Chat GPT, Chat 4.0 and just ask to create an image and just exact very basic prompts and you can get very, very detailed prompts. I would say the more detail you add to a prompt, the more difficult it is to create an image exactly how you want to. But if you continue to reprompt, you can easily come up with images. One of the tips I'll give you is there are times where if you're in a long conversation, I noticed this with the sunscreen design, is they end up, it's hard to get them off of a design that they've created. So if you create a design like this, I was trying to have this completely changed the bottle itself, but they actually changed the background. Sometimes it's a little bit more difficult if you have a bunch of images in a in a long prompt conversation where you're better off just saying, okay, let's just download this image and, or, or if we come up here to this bottle, say download this image and we're gonna use this image to actually put our product onto different backgrounds. So that's the one issue that I've seen, but overall really impressive tool, definitely something to get involved with. I'll probably, Mention this in the other video, but I'll probably do a Surfside PPC logo and redesign that using ChatGPT. See if it's worth using something new, but probably won't in the long run. So thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.